So for your particular assignment this week, you are to search for a work of art. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search by medium and I'm going to look for oil pastels, kind of keeping us on track what we were just working on. Now you do not have to select this medium. I'm just using this as an example. I'm selecting a piece that jumps out at me because that's always what I recommend for you. So I'm going to look at the piece, read a little bit about it, see some of the recommendations, and decide, am I interested? Am I interested in the medium, the subject? Am I interested in the artist or someone similar? interesting. Okay. So let me see. This one actually has some information a lot compared to the other ones that we've looked at. All right. We're clicking on explore connections. So this is going to show you how the artist made connections between their pieces over a certain amount of time. So back to that original piece. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to examine it as if it were in front of me in a museum, if we were in class talking about it, because then you're going to answer some questions about it. So I'm going to click that favorite and I'm just going to look around a little bit more on the site and see if there's anything that I might be a little bit more interested than that piece that I just selected. For this assignment, I'm going to stick with the second piece that I chose. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. I just really found the piece interesting. I like that you could see the brush strokes and I like the colors that were used. It kind of reminded me of Montauk, so I was drawn to that piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read a little bit about it. I'm going to research the museum where it is located and look around there just to gain a little bit of background knowledge. You are not doing a research paper. This is solely just to add more to your knowledge bank. I thought the piece was interesting. I'm going to look at the artist and learn a little bit more about him or her and see if I can find out a bit more about the piece. Back on to Google Arts and Culture, I can actually search by artist and read up a little bit more about my selected artist and see other pieces, read about highlights, and discover a bit more about the artist. So again, this is all on Google Arts and Culture. So for this assignment, what I recommend you do is open up the piece underneath your favorites and put it to one side of your computer screen. The other side of your screen, I want you to find Google Classroom and search for today's assignment. Each day, we'll have a different Google Classroom assignment quiz. I'm going to locate the assignment for the first day, Monday. I'm going to click on that Google form and I'm going to fill out the information about the piece. Today is just to get the name of the piece, the artist, when and where the work was created, if that information you can find, and the medium. Be sure to click Submit to receive credit. Tuesday will be focusing on the description, Wednesday analysis, Thursday interpretation, and Friday evaluation. So check back each day for the new Google form to make sure that you receive credit for this assignment.